<sighs> Hello everybody, old Shaziz here. Peace. I'm out here in my mad science laboratory. I'm gonna try to cram a whole lot of stuff into a really short section and uh, try to show you a little bit of what I'm working on uh, using uh, plasma technologies. Anyway, uh, let's get right into it here and let's see what we can come up with and uh, I'll try to get as much in as I possibly can in this video time here. Do 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 do. Okay. Lower this down a bit here. Get a better look in what's going on. First off, in my last video, I was talking about wireless energy uh, using plasma, and uh, in this particular video. I'm going to show you several things that I that I can. First, I want to show you down here. If you uh, have sensitive ears, you might not want to listen to this video because there's going to be a lot of beeping and bleeping going on. This little uh, buzzer right here is uh, from a, uh, a company, I guess, called Sone Alert, and uh, essentially what I've got on there is a uh, capacitor. To uh, store a charge and then I have a potentiometer right here to uh, I can adjust it up and down but the uh, positive side is going over here to the deck of this uh, Shaziz coil and the uh, negative sides over there to my ground I so see you see a cluster of wires right now but uh, anyway this this isn't going to be powered at all and I'm just going to use the uh, radiant energy that comes off of this system over here in order to uh, see that I'm transmitting over there as well. So, um, what I've got here is uh, three separate uh, transmitters. And uh, what I'm uh, attempting to do is to try to uh, get these to uh, get in sync with one another. I'll have to explain all the uh, the details on that later, but uh, let me see if I can get you a good view inside of there. Essentially, it's a transmitter built with LEDs, a uh, coil of a wire on a uh, on some uh, laminate for the antenna, and a uh, stove starter or not stove starter, a uh, fluorescent bulb starter and uh, a piezoelectric buzzer and so this too will have an annoying beep but this particular system and these two right here will be running off of uh, a couple cheapo uh, alkaline batteries which eventually will be replaced by a uh, capacitor bank such as the one over here and it'll take a few minutes to get everything to charge up but uh, I've got a few things that I want to show you such as this little system right here which is a, another fluorescent bulb starter a LED and a capacitor and I'll show you that in a, in a bit but uh, let me get one of these uh, so you can get some numbers off of it Urgh, I'm reaching When I say fluorescent bulb starters, these are what I'm talking about. Hopefully, hopefully I can get. Uh, hope you can see that real good. This is what they look like. They're you can buy them at the uh, uh, Walmart, the local Walmart, in the hardware section for a couple dollars for two of them. And they're uh, argon gas-filled uh, bulbs that uh, basically used for uh, starting up your fluorescent bulbs in some systems. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the battery systems on there. Get these things going. So please excuse all the the uh, beeping noises and uh, hope your ears aren't sensitive. But what I'm looking for is uh, some synchronization between all these transmitters. Like I say, I'll have to explain all that in detail later. I'm going to go ahead and fire up the plasma reactor. 
Okay. Let me kill a light over here. Hey. Anyway, you can clearly see with this fluorescent bulb that that one there is already picking up energy. Let's see if I can get a better view on that. So it's already doing its job. And all these little lights, these little LEDs right here should start synchronizing with each other. Getting in in the same uh, range going on. And before too long, this LED right here should begin to blink. And uh, this one here should begin to blink. And this piezoelectric buzzer should start going off as well. But while we're waiting for that to charge up, I want to show you what it is that this uh, little circuit right here does because the whole deal is about the plasma energy. I don't know if you can see the uh, plasma inside there and the LED lighting up. But that's, uh, that's how I'm charging the capacitors. This is a uh, the basics of what this system right here does and how, how it actually charges the capacitor system. That's the, that's the uh, simple circuit for, for the system. Anyway, you can see that uh, the LED lights up. I'm gonna try not to get too close there because I'll shock the living crap out of myself, which I've done many times. Let me uh, kill another light and see if you can see that even better. Okay. That's the LED and the little plasma circuit that you see floating there, the little red light. Anyway, starting to get some blinking going on over here, so this capacitor bank here is being charged up. And it looks like the... Uh, three transmitters are all beginning to synchronize with one another. Once I get to the uh, final episode of this little deal right here, you'll understand exactly why it is that I'm doing what I'm doing, but uh, in the meantime it's uh, pretty much just some little flashy light system. Probably don't make a lot of sense right at the moment. Uh, do -do -do -do. Trying not to get the crud shocked out of myself. See the plasma build up in there. And over here as well. So, trying to explain this as easy as I possibly can. I've got three separate three separate transmitters on three separate frequencies. Real simple transmitters. You can pick them up on AM radios and they're real easy to build. I'll make you a little circuit later to show you exactly how to do that. And uh, you can amplify them with transistors and stuff like that. But for the purpose that I'm going to be needing these for, I'm not going to require a uh, or super strong signal. I need to be able to pick out a signal that is unlike any other signal. Okay, so now whenever I uh, shut this gizmo off, shut the power off, you'll still hear that annoying wee sound going on. Part of that is that uh, little system that I showed you there with the uh, piezoelectric uh, buzzer. I don't know if you can hear that too well. back up one more time if 
if you can I hope you can see if you look in there and you can see those three little stove or those three little fluorescent bulb starters there's plasma build up inside them as well Urgh. so we're definitely we're definitely getting power All righty then. Feels too strong. Well, you can see my magnetic field's a little, little intense. Can't even get a decent reading. I'm gonna shut that off and try it again. All right, power back up and see the field again. <laughs> yeah. It's got a really strong field on it. A lot stronger than I expected. Anyway, uh, this is not really all that impressive to you right at the moment until I explain down into graphic detail exactly what it is that this thing is going to, going to be capable of. But I uh, just wanted to give you kind of a sneak peek and uh, let you see what it is that I've been working on. There's, uh, there's a whole lot more to this, but uh, a little too much to explain right at the moment. Anyway, I've got the transmitters are all synchronized now. I'll shut this off. It should ring for a bit. And you'll notice a tone difference in this piezoelectric right here. Hopefully. There it goes. So I'll give you a mystery question. Go ahead and see if you can tell me ahead of time what it is that you believe this thing's doing. When you uh, when you figure it out, you're going to be excited. <laughs> anyway, folks, sorry about all the screes and the bleeds and all that kind of stuff right there it's uh, all part of mad science but uh, when you find out what it is I'm working on you're gonna be uh, really happy uh, um, I got a lot more and I'm trying to rush it all in and get it in as fast as I possibly can for you to, to see what's going on but uh, stay tuned you're gonna love this trust me peace and love everybody